Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before you get started, I would request you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, you will find tons of amazing hands-on videos on DevOps as well as on Cloud DevOps. And as you know, we try to focus on real-time scenarios and DevOps as well as on Cloud DevOps. Talking about today's video, so today we are going to get started with day zero of AWS DevOps Bootcamp in which I'm going to explain in detail what exactly we are going to cover in the upcoming bootcamp. Also team, batch seven is already started and as of now we are currently in uh, module 4 so if you are interested to learn uh, from scratch devsecops and cloud devops you can check it out this uh, details will be in the description now coming to the uh, today's uh, day 0 of aws devops bootcamp series so let us go through the uh, detailed syllabus so that we can understand what exactly we are going to cover in the upcoming bootcamp okay so yeah now there are going to be multiple uh, videos and first video is going to be first of all introduction to AWS and DevOps where we are going to understand DevOps principles and we are going to understand AWS why do we have AWS how it's benefiting us and all those things in addition to that we are also going to focus on understanding what resources we are going to cover specifically in this course okay and one more thing team please note that this course uh, this whole bootcamp will be mostly ba based on hands-on the reason that I'm keeping or like focusing more on hands-on so that we can learn in real time how things happen what kind of issues do we get and how do we resolve them so we are going to focus more on hands-on okay then in day two we are going to understand it uh, we are going to set up aws account and we are going to understand about iam which is identity access management which is one of the most widely used service within aws why because using iam services only you decide different level of permissions to different users or different groups so we are going to again uh, do hands-on here so that we can understand how we can utilize iam and in, at this point in iam we are using iam organization so that also will be covered within this day two video okay next we have uh, ec2 which is another widely used service within aws using which we can create different kind of virtual machines and utilize it for different purpose so again we are going to go in very detail with ec2 so that we can understand very clearly about uh, everything about the ec2 machines okay then we have networking it is also and very uh, it is also a very important concept so in, in networking we are going to understand complete networking from scratch uh, through aws services and we are going to cover vpc subnet route tables and any other dependent resources with that within that and as i say uh, when it comes to hands-on part so we are going to set up all this networking configuration inside aws so that we can see in real time how it works okay then we have uh, s3 and cloud storage so uh, s3 is one of the widely used uh, storage inside aws so that we are going to cover in detail we are going to understand about this about the buckets objects data storage concepts and any, uh, anything else with respect to that then we are going to set up s3 and then we are going to connect to s3 uh, storage from our local machine as well as from other virtual machines and then we are going to see how we can uh, push files or manage it and also we are going to set up bucket policies and IAM permissions for secure access okay and then we are going to see use cases as well for s3 in devops workflow then we have day six where we are going to set up some uh, automation using aws cli and sdk so that we can see how we can utilize these uh, these services to uh, like create res uh, create resources or manage them okay then we have a uh, day seven where we are going to get started with infrastructure as code at this point most of us we already know about terraform that can be used for resource creation and management okay but when we talk about aws so there also we can create using a uh, terraform but aws has its own service that can be used for the same purpose which is cloud formation so that part also we are going to see how we can write the basic uh, cloud formation templates to create resources and utilize the infrastructure as code concept okay then we have day 8 where we are going to cover aws elastic beanstack so that we are going to set it up and we are going to deploy a web application on aws elastic beanstack so that again we can see how we can uh, how we are able to perform this deployment of web applications to elastic beanstack service okay then we have the most uh, core concept of devops so inside aws when it comes to writing pipelines we have code pipeline so i'm going to show you from scratch how you can write the uh, ci cd pipelines for build and deployment of application side by side integrating different security tools and different servers like sonar cube okay so all those things will be included within aws code pipeline 
then we have containerizations for the for that we are going to utilize ECS and ECR both of them we are going to cover and we are going to do hands on as well so that we can understand how these two how these two services are being utilized okay then we have another very important concept which is EKS so as you know like EKS basically elastic kubernetes service so we are going to see how we can set up elastic kubernetes service and we are, before that we are also going to understand in detail the workflow of kubernetes how exactly kubernetes works what are the architecture of kubernetes and what are the components inside the kubernetes so we are going to set up EKS we are going to connect to our CI CD pipeline and then we are going to deploy any application to EKS okay then we have monitoring and logging which is another important concept so we are going to understand this as well how we can perform monitoring and logging and we can use uh, cloudwatch for monitoring and logging okay and then uh, other than that we are going to set up custom dashboard we are going to set up uh, alarms and notifications and then we are going to analyze application logs using cloudwatch logs and insight okay so all those things will be covered and as i say again we are going to focus more on real time hands on then we have serverless application with AWS Lambda. For that we are going to use this specific service AWS Lambda which is a serverless service and it's going to be quite useful because it's uh, very useful when it comes to cost management. Okay. So we are going to integrate uh, Lambda with API Gateway S3 and other AWS services. Again this will be hands on. Talking to next we have security best practices in AWS where we are going to use AWS security tools and we are going to implement this kind of security encryption on S3 RDS and EBS volumes okay again this will be hands on talking about the last video where we are going to perform an end to end project where we are going to set up complete CI CD pipeline from scratch integrating everything including security tools including uh, like uh, repo uh, artifact repository services and other things as well so all those things will be covered in this day 15 video so these are the main things that we are going to cover and the reason that i'm keeping just uh, 15 days or 15 videos specific for this aws uh, boot camp because we as i said that we are going to cover things from aws devops aws devops point of view so focusing more on when it comes to uh, comes to focusing more on uh, devops part these are the most commonly used services and most widely used services that we need to know okay so make sure to follow all the video throughout uh, in all the upcoming videos so that you don't miss out any of the uh, concepts or any of the specific days videos. Talking about one more thing team. So there will be one uh, repository inside my uh, GitHub account. Make sure to uh, check it out. So because all the documentation of these videos will be added here as of now day zero uh, documentation is added. So make sure to uh, yeah follow me on uh, GitHub also so that you don't miss out any of the uh, repository updates and any of the documentation okay so yeah these things will be there and again team batch 7 has already started if you're interested you can enroll all the details will be in the description okay so yeah that will be all for day zero video